Hey guys, my name is Josh. I'm the Dad Challenge Podcast, and I don't usually do these types of videos. We usually do a podcast, but uh, these things that have just happened, I don't know if you've, if you've been tuning into this whole Mika or Mika or whatever her name is, Mika Stouffer debacle and her husband that have uh, basically, I, I'm just pissed. So I have to do this video because I have to talk about this and I have to kind of get it out this way. Um, and I do want to pile on because I think what these people are doing is insane. Like, I think that like, I'm just, I'm super outrageous, especially as a parent who has adopted myself. Um, let me just lay it out for you really quick and cliff notes what's happening so far. So this lady puts out a YouTube video where she's crying on their beautiful backdrop of their house, the beautiful camera. They're, they're social media influencers. She's a parenting influencer. Okay. Don't even get me started influencers. I think they're all ridiculous. I think that's a stupid way to make money. I mean, if you're going to make money, I can't blame you, but it's just, I, we got to stop this influencer thing. Nobody really knows what they're doing, especially parents. So that being said, she posts this video because she's getting flack for rehoming her adopted Chinese son who has, uh, I guess, some issues, some some mental issues, a brain tumor. Um, and they basically said, well, look, we weren't, we weren't ready for this. We weren't, uh, we weren't prepared for the actual amount of struggle we were going to have with this. Um, but there's so many people going back and finding her videos where they, where she's like, you know, when we were adopting, uh, we were, they were kind of saying, you know, be careful. Don't, and they almost told us not to. And she was all complaining about that because they were saying, look, there's going to be some issues. So they knew this. The issue I have with all this is that you used a child for your social media clout for your influence to bring more people to your channel and to do this, to get more viewers, to do this, to get more money and more revenue. And so these people are sponsored by places like TJ Maxx and a whole bunch of other big places and they make their money as influencers. And this is so sad because this is the world we live in right now. And as a parenting podcast and things that we talk about, um, we're not perfect. We don't think that this family is perfect. We don't expect people to be perfect, but what I expect of a parent, especially an adoptive parent, and this is really hard to hear for a lot of adopted parents because sometimes it cannot be helped, especially as they get older. Like I know adopted parents who had a, had a kid who got a little older and that kid just, you know, got violent. There is, there are, let's be clear. There are times where sometimes you got to kind of give up and that sucks to hear, but sometimes there are, but not with a toddler or a four-year-old or however this kid is, there is no excuse to give up on someone this young. I have deep seated issues from my childhood from being abandoned. And this kid has basically been abandoned and they call it rehomed. And it just sounds like they're, you're getting rid of a dog they didn't want. This thing is ridiculous. And I hope of all hopes that they will pay for this, not in a way like I hope they die or anything, nothing like that, but like lose your sponsorship, stop becoming influ stop being influencers. You're not an influencer anymore. The only influence you have now is, is negative and you're going to get canceled for sure. But I needed to just kind of talk about this a little bit about why it's wrong, what they're doing. And so, and I've been looking on their YouTube channel and they're obviously deleting comments that they don't want to see. They were, they're, they're really trying to shape this narrative and I'm, it's pissing me off and they get all their followers. Like you're so brave. If you're telling a couple who have gotten rid of a child or rehomed a child that they adopted that they crowdfunded to adopt because they're having some issues you think that's brave i think you're a coward and i think you're a quitter and i think that nobody should be listening to these people if they're considering themselves parenting uh influencers okay they are terrible people terrible i'm not saying that they're like evil or anything and their intentions were wrong i'm sure they might have been right but th this whole world of like influencers and like it's all about me 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 even their even their video is literally them sitting there crying fake crocodile tears it's about them and their struggles not about huxley and what he's about to go through for the rest of his life okay so they gave up on this kid and there's 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 back history about how they they were they treated him wrong they basically used this kid and then just tossed him and i just wanted to chime in here and say unacceptable as a parent as someone who has adopted myself unacceptable I, I don't and i know there have been times where i'm i can sit and talk to my kids and be like i was so angry that i wanted them to go i wanted them to leave and i i will admit that freely but I, as a family you just don't give up on people and these people are just the worst of the worst if you're out there and you're listening to this and you're and you're trying to research and trying to justify for them what they're doing you're just as bad as them they are not justified in this they are wrong huxley is the one that's suffering not them they are not suffering they will i mean they're going to get everything that's coming to them i hope that all these people that sponsor them just back off i just they need to stop they need to get off the internet go get real jobs go just do their own thing and stop putting their face out on the internet because they're just they're just making it worse by coming up with excuses and all this stuff. We got to stop the influencer culture. We have to stop this ridiculous influencer culture. And I can't wait till this is all over because it's the stupidest culture we live in. 
Like it's just the dumbest thing ever. And it just, it, it turns into things like this where people adopt a child for, for social media points and for more channel views. And this is only going to get worse. People are going to continue to do this. This happens on so many levels, but this one for real hurt me because Huxley is now going to go through life knowing he was abandoned. He's going to, he now is in this new place where his forever home, they called it like, it's just a ridiculous. Okay. And maybe the new family is better and they probably are because they won't give up on him. Hopefully, you know, but at the same time, this kid has lived with you and has lived his life and you've put him on TV, on YouTube and all these things and used him for your own benefit. Um, and now you're just done with it because it's too hard for you. And apparently she's had another kid. And I mean, I, I asked the question of Mika or Mika or whatever the hell your name is. Would you give up on one of your bio kids like that? I don't think you would. And I think what you've done is savage to a world of adoption. And is it savage to the world of people that have uh, kid, kids with, with the same diseases that your kid has with the same brain tumor or um, autism or whatever it is he has. You're basically just saying that if your kid is, has a problem, just get rid of them. Bye. I don't, you know, you're too much of an issue for me. So I'm going to get rid of you. This is the worst of worst of worst. And for them to make a video and cry about it on YouTube just made it even worse for me. I'm super pissed at people like this. And for the love of God, get yourself off YouTube, cancel your channel, cancel your social media, go live a normal life. Maybe you still have a chance and just stop talking to people about this. Now you're influencing people and people who think that you're right about this there. They might be justified in saying, well, I'm just going to get rid of my kid if I adopt. The whole world of, you know how hard it is for some people to adopt? Do you know how difficult it is for people to adopt? And you relatively went through it breezily, easily because of your social media clout where you crowdfunded for this when you probably could have afforded it anyway. There are so many people that want to do what you wanted to do and you're just throwing it away. And shame on you, you sick people. You are sick. And just so you know, everything that's coming your way is totally deserved. At this point, your influencer privilege points are basically done and I hope that you get canceled. F you. You sick, sick people. I'm sorry that sounds harsh, but it's the truth, especially from a parenting podcast where parenting to us is, is a journey. We know it's not perfect. We know it's not easy, but we also know you don't give up on your kids. You just don't give up on your kids. That's the ultimate thing here. If anybody's listening to this, I don't think anybody will, but please don't give up on your kids. But this is a four-year-old who has been abandoned and is now going to suffer for the rest of his life because of it, because of these douchebag, selfish people. Sorry, the end.